overflows. What happens when one is enlightened? And I repeat it again, the day I became enlightened, the whole existence became enlightened with me. This is how it happens to anyone who attains to enlightenment. Now for me, each sentient and insentient being and each statement is full of light. I do not categorize any statement as ignorant or wise. Instead, each statement is aglow with awareness, representing the light of the one who made the statement. It is up to you to find divinity lurking through the entire existence, each sentient and insentient. It is wrong even to say that. Instead, an awakened one envisions divinity permeating through the entire cosmos. It does not matter if you are still unaware of this. Those who are not yet enlightened find a statement of Buddha, the day I became enlightened, the entire existence became enlightened with me. It is very difficult to understand. Also, he pays personal attention to each seeker along the process. He knows each seeker is unique, so is his or her path. Certain techniques and instructions are general. Even the general techniques become unique because of physical, emotional differences and differences at energy levels. Even the ordinary techniques become unique because of physical, emotional and differences at energy levels. Yet there are specific instructions for each seeker as well. Let me explain this through an example. In a garden, it is the gardener who takes care of all the plants, flowers, etc. He is familiar with the needs of each plant. When is sick and not growing normally, it is the gardener who pays special attention to that plant, provides extra care and all that is necessary. At times he treats the plant as a baby, while other times as a spouse. In the garden he is like an enlightened master or caretaker. When the season of spring comes, flowers starts blossoming. He prepares each plant to blossom and bear fruits and bear flowers and fruits. Each day a number of flowers blossom in the garden. The gardener who is taking care of the garden knows which bud will blossom tomorrow or the next day. But one is certain each bud that is closed today will blossom one day and once blossomed has to dissolve again in the existence for the process to continue. So on the basis of his experience and deep understanding of the process of blossoming, he knows which bud is ready to blossom tomorrow and onwards. So too is the, so too this is natural for an awakened one to know who is on the verge and who is ready for enlightenment like a quantum explosion. As a result, he pays special care and attention to that seeker. He knows that this seeker is in a difficult situation both physically and emotionally. Also at times his energy level is low. He pays special attention. 
Samadhi is the highest state of enlightenment, the Sanatan path or Patanjali Yoga Sutra does not speak of enlightenment because he was following a totally different route than Buddha. But down different streams emerging to become one with big one are many tributaries merging into one another to become a major stream before merging into the cosmic expanse. In fact, it is the state beyond enlightenment. It means that you are no more an individual. Satori gives you a great individualization. Now listen to it. Before Satori, you are a person, not an individual. Person comes from the root which means persona, a mask. Before Satori, you are just a person, a personality, but not individuality. And in fact, a person is never a person. He is many persons embedded in one mask. It is like an actor who is performing many roles on the stage so he goes on changing the costume and mask. One moment he is playing the energy man, angry man role. Next moment he is very happy and he is versatile and professional in changing the mask quickly before the scene changes. So instead of one mask, you have to keep many masks. In different situations, you need a different face. With your wife, you need a different face. With your mistress, you have another. With your servant, another. And with your boss, another. You have to go on changing your faces. You have many personalities. Personality is never singular. It is always plural. You are a crowd and when you are a person, you are a crowd, you are many. Satori makes you one. By and by, it brings unity, harmony and oneness in your being. Those many faces disappear. The original face appears, the individuality. The words the word individuality, indivi, duality, the duality that is not divisible is precious. It means that which cannot be divided. Satori renders you individual and Samadhi makes you universal. Then you are no longer individual either. First, you were not an individual because you were a crowd. Now again, you are not an individual because you are the whole. These are three stages, personality, individuality and universality. A mini Satori is a glimpse of your inner unity and harmony for a moment and then you lose the glimpse and again you are many. Yes, the original face appears, but as if you are in a dream, you see it, you recognize, yes, it is there. You feel happy, you feel tremendously blessed and then suddenly it is gone. It is a vision. Again you fall back into your old pattern the old gestalt again gathers around you, you will carry the memory, the fragrance, and you will remember it, but it is not a reality any longer. It is just a part of your memory. When Satori has become established or crystallized, then it never leaves you. It is always there. Just like 
your shadow follows you you have become an individual then the individuality has also to be lost first you become one from many and then become zero from one this is the whole mathematics of spirituality from many to one and from one to nothingness you attain to utter emptiness within this state of utter emptiness within buddha calls as shunyata or nirvana and hindus call this as samadhi or brahmalin absorbed in consciousness the day and awakened one leaves the physical body and enters the formless existence the responsibility of these closest to him the responsibility of those close to him becomes even greater now these chosen ones have to manifest the awakened one through their presence and in a way to become him as a result the living the body the awakened one creates a challenge for one close to him through samadhi he is leaving form and leaving one body now he can be in all other bodies a buddha a raman a ram krishna and osho a lala ji and all other awakened ones from one past from the past the present ones and those who will follow feel absolutely certain utterly happy that he has got the right people who are going to be the living books of consciousness they are absolutely certain that awakened ones from the past the present ones and those who will follow feel absolutely certain utterly happy that he has got the right people who are going to be the living books of consciousness eternal temple of consciousness totally consecrated it all depends now on you because you are the one who is to spread such message all over the world because you are the one who is going to spread the message all over the world enough for now